Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome! So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you my updated house tour. A lot has changed since the last house tour, I feel. I don't think we were living in the house in the last tour, so loads has changed and yeah, I wanted to do an updated tour. It's just me doing this video and I have done all of the tours just on my main channel. Um, I'm not actually sure why, I think because of the excitement of getting the first house, I put it on my main channel because I wanted as many people to know and then I've just kind of kept the house tours on my main channel, but you can see the full renovations and stuff like that on my second channel with my partner Sean, which is Daily Dose of Us. This is just going to be an updated house tour, a lot has changed. I want to say the house is looking particularly tidy because I've just done a weekly clean, I do like a weekly deep clean and then I just clean up here and there, but I have just done the weekly clean so it is looking particularly tidy, don't be fooled, my house does not always look like this because I don't want to be one of these people who shows you this nice spotless house and you feel like my house always looks like that because if you watch the vlogs on the second channel you'll know that that is just definitely not true but I'm really happy with the way that it looks at the minute now this is just an updated house tour it is by no way completed upstairs we still need the second bedroom done which we hope to get done this year sean has a game room upstairs which he hasn't done or started on yet um downstairs is is more or less there um there's the dog room which hasn't got much to it and there's niggly little bits that i want to get done and frames that i need to put up and stuff but i'll talk you through my plans and stuff like that as we're showing you each room as well just so you know and i will link everything that i can below in case you're interested in anything so if you're wondering where something's from have a look below before you ask please because i might have linked it if i haven't linked it um i'll write where it's from but if i haven't linked it it's probably because it's out of stock or i couldn't find it online anymore but i will try and link as much as possible because i know people always ask where things are from even on my home instagram if you want to keep more up to date with my um house and stuff like that we do have a home instagram it's called daily dose of us home so yeah without further rat -tat -tat, i'm just going to show you my updated house too this is what you see you have our hallway so we have the stairs nothing's changed really much yet apart from we did get this mirror we do want to get a console table i have my hoover in charging we do want to get a little console table and add more here but as of yet we just have the mirrors a new addition and apart from that nothing else has happened yet oh we do have this little plaque which it says home is our happy place i'm not sure if that was there on the last tour but then obviously we have the office here again nothing much has changed if you've been keeping up to date with the regular videos but it's just the office um i haven't been using this room as much as i want to but i am going to get into using it more but it is just this leafy themed green office yeah, which I actually really like the office. It's definitely what I wanted it to be. Um, I do need to change the light fitting still because this little light is shit. I have a new one over there in that brown box, which needs to go up. It is the same as the ones in the passageway, which are from Wayfair, I think. Um, and I really like them. I'll link them below. But yeah, so the lighting in here is not the greatest, but we just have this box, which I need to open. I have a black of set, but a black set of IKEA drawers. Then I have this table, which is from um oh god wayfair i think but like i said i will link everything i can and then i have another set of black doors i have my lighting for my videos so my ring light and i have some polaroid pictures up i have some white boards up and then i just have a little storage basket a little yellow sofa my wallpaper a big mirror a hanging plant a black rail with clothes hangers then pictures need to go up in the bedroom then i have another little storage thing this mat which i really don't like i need to get a new one and then i have this area so i just have this little black and gold table from B&M and then I have this little fake plant from B&M and then I just have this little thing from B&M then I have my 100,000 subscribers plaque a few little bits there we have our blinds now we got all our blinds from A1's blinds and this is the storage thing that I um, painted from white to black and then I have my curtains but yeah this is a little overview of the office like I said it's pretty much the same as it was if you've been keeping up with the house videos then you will have already seen this room moving out from the office back into the hallway We'll go down here so we do have this baby gate on the stairs in the hallway now this is just for the dogs what we noticed about the house is we don't actually have like a little passageway so the dogs like if they're out in the hallway could get straight out so this little black baby gate is perfect um and it just keeps them safe on that side of the house then we just have the little cupboard which honestly is an absolute mess moving into the living room so this 
is the living room if you remember this when we first moved in it was just so different but this is probably my favorite room in the house i absolutely love it well actually i do love the bedroom in that as well but when you come into the living room we have so when you come into the living room we have the sideboard table here so all of the furniture in the living room is the fulton range and it's from dunelm i'll link it all below but this is the sideboard it has three drawers and two little cupboards very useful but i have just been stone shitting them because what are sideboards for i have my little coffee which which I'm drinking so ignore that it wouldn't usually be there then on here I have this little whippet statue which my mum got us for Christmas and I love it then we have this little photo box full of photos of me Sean and the pups I've just realized we're upside down and then our little heating system and then we just have this glass bowl here which has got some like scented things in um the glass bowls from the range and i believe the scented things are from the range as well but i really like them because they've got the navy themed ones in and then my little setup here i got some little deco books these books are from a company which i do have the name of but again i'll link them below and then this vase is from the range and then these fake plants are from pretty little thing then I have this candle and this little room spray, both from Asda. And then I have my Decennial prints, which I absolutely love. So I have four prints. Two of them are like blue abstract prints. And then two of them are line prints. One is a woman's body and then one is like a man and woman. I absolutely love this area of the living room. I just think it's lovely. That's just a gate that is usually around the fire, but I've just taken it off for now to show you it without so yeah these are the light fittings we have in here now i do believe these are from iconic lights i do like them um but i don't think they sell them anymore um but we have four of them because this is quite a big room then we just have this little um table we do want to get the telly put onto the wall eventually but for now we're just using this little table there's not much on it apart from a little picture of luna and a little picture of henry which my mom got us for christmas and i love them but yeah this is kind of a bit of a boring area i need to spice it up a little bit but this is what it looks like for now and we do want to get a bigger telly but this was just sean's telly in his room so we just decided to use it then we'll just have the dog's toy area they do usually have their bed there but it's in the car from when i took them to school this morning and then their little water bowl this is another favorite area of mine in the house it is the fireplace so we have this fireplace we've got this wood mantel piece made which i absolutely love i think it's stunning and then we have this gold clock which is from wayfair and then on top of my mantel piece i have some candles these are absolutely gorgeous they're my friend harry's business called blank homeware and i love them then i have some more deco books these ones are from a different company which again i'll link below and then i have this wax melt which smells amazing from signature melt and then i just have the fireplace the base some logs and there we haven't turned the fire on yet it's definitely something we need to do but this is our little fireplace area and i love it so then moving on we have our little ottoman storage thing which we got with the sofa and this is our sofa it is a symmetrical sofa so basically usually corner sofas are like a corner and then a bit but we wanted a symmetrical corner so it's a symmetrical corner sofa i do have the exact name of it and it's from dfs so i'll link the details for it below but this is what it looks like i do want to get some cushions for it maybe navy cushions but i haven't as of yet um we do have a, a rug which i would love to put down right now from wayfair but unfortunately i can't because the pups I've got a feeling we'd still weigh and poo on it. So the rug can't go down just yet. But this is what a sofa looks like. And we got the matching little ottoman. So this is the front of the living room. And then when we move to the back of the living room. We have this little area. So we have two little coffee tables. The little one I usually pull to the front. Just for our teas and coffees and stuff. And then we'll have this chair. Which was actually originally in the office. But I didn't want it in the office anymore. So it just kind of sits here. Then I have the bookshelf. Which again is the same range as the rest of the furniture another thing on the to-do list is to cut them wires out but on here we have a range of stuff so i've just got these little fake plants from um pretty little thing and then the vases from the range again this is just from the range um i think they're just from b m and then these are from a company called demi candle and then my brother got us this for christmas and i think it's so cute and then i have my little globe and then that little gold tray which used to have a wax melt on it but the pups have started investigating the bottom of the bookshelf that's why there's nothing more on it but it's just a cute little area then on the windowsill i just have some more fig plants um the two little ones i think are from I think they're from Primark and then the bigger one is um, the vases from the range and the plants are from Pretty Little Thing. Then I have my dining table set. I 
absolutely love this dining table set it's from furniture box it has gold detailing so the legs are gold and then it's in the cappuccino gray color it has a glass top and then i just got these little placemats from morrison's i think um and yeah in here i just have this little cute tray with this little deco book and then i just have a little aura candle but this is the dining area which i love i just think it's so pretty and i really love it and then on here i just have another little vase with some fake um plants have them all over the place but yeah this is what it looks like and then these curtains are from dunelm i think but you'd have to ask sean because he bought them but yeah the garden is looking not that great it's all cornered off because of the pup but that will be something we'll work on in the new year so this is our living room moving out of the living room da -da 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 -da. then we're back into the hallway so we have the dogs room this is their little room where they go when they're napping or when they want to play they're like coming in here to have a play it just has two beds in a few toys and yeah i really want to get some prints on the walls or something just to make them a bit more homely and i want to get some hooks put up in here for the dogs clothes and their coats and leads and stuff because at the minute they're just all stored under there but yeah this is just their little room and again this little table is from the fulton range from Donnell. We've got it it just stores their stuff in and it's quite handy to have um and that we've never used it was too small for them but i just haven't put it anywhere yet so this is what their room looks like and then in the downstairs toilet nothing has changed um it's just the same i still have the santa little hand thing out i need to put that away and get a new one but this is what it looks like it's just the same as it was and then if you've seen we did do a um obviously walk through the kitchen and everything but i'll just briefly show you it does have a dog bed in it now because the dogs like to be everywhere we are so they have a bed in like every room but this is what the kitchen looks like we have our american freezer with the kind of units built around it this little cereal dispenser which is from amazon sean got this made for us and i absolutely love it and then this is what it looks like we had it all tiled i need to get a new biscuit tin because the only one i have is the gingerbread house um, the man who we bought the house off kindly left this oven. It works perfect. We've been liking that. This is what is. We've recently got a new kettle. So here is our little kettle. We've got our coffee machine. Like I said, our gingerbread mug, our coffee tea, coffee thing, a little tray. We have our sink. So we recently got this fruit bowl. Honestly, I know it's not actually a fruit bowl. And I wanted one that you can hang the bananas on. But couldn't find one. So yeah. Then I have another reed diffuser, a little candle, a little hand um soap and then we have the toaster which actually matches the kettle then my mum got us this little sweet tub for christmas so i love it but yeah this is a little view of our kitchen and then the utility is being used very practically at the moment we'll have the dog's bowls down there and then that's obviously the back door this is all the washing that i need to do but then i have my washer and my dryer the clean blankets i just keep on there but yeah this is what the utility currently looks like being used Okay, so when you get to the top of the stairs, obviously this is what you see. Um, I'm going to just show you the main rooms because, um, well actually I'll show you these rooms as well. But as you can see, there's absolutely nothing being done to them. These rooms are just an absolute mess. This is what's going to be the spare room, my dressing room. I have been using it as a dressing room, but it is going to be getting done out this year. So there's not much happening here. So we're not going to show you that room. And that room's been used as a storage room. But if you want to see the size of it and everything, you can look on my original house chart or my updated one. But there's nothing happening in there currently. So this is where me and bathroom upstairs um it's yeah just nothing's really happened yet i have a bath board this is from an instagram company called bath boards i really like it and i do love this bath it's really big just have my little candle lit and then on the back here i've just added in all my stuff from christmas like all my smellies and stuff like that and then we do have obviously a um toothpaste and stuff but again nothing much has changed in this room from the last house tour we would probably like to get the bathrooms done but it's not a priority so then obviously here yeah, this used to be a door to the fourth bedroom which we boarded up and is now the walk and wardrobe and this is the door to the main bedroom we need to paint these white again but we'll have a snagging list so when you walk in the main bedroom this is what you see we carpeted this room 
because we didn't like the wooden flooring and then we have a double bed um so yeah this is our double bed from furniture box we both love it and then we'll have our duvet set which is actually from pretty little thing it's a jersey material and it's so nice and then we went for this brick effect wallpaper now this wallpaper is from b&q and i do have three prints to put above the bed but we haven't done it yet so this is what i mean this is definitely not a completed room to a, a completed house to have but it is an updated one i'm not very good at making beds i try to make this all instagram worthy and straight and everything and it just wasn't happening so this is the realistic way my bed looks and then i have this which is from wafer i absolutely love the light fitting um but yeah i wanted to show you it and then we'll have these black curtains which are from amazon i think so on the windowsill we got all our um blinds from a1 blinds and then on the windowsill we'll just have some little personal things to me and sean um, we got this which is by an Instagram company I believe called M's Crafts and then I got shown this for our anniversary and then my best friend Ashley got with this for engagement so that's just a nice little place. Sean got us that for Christmas, it is a Harvey Nichols hamper thing. Um, so it's just down there for now, I've been using it as storage and these bedside tables are also from Furniture Box. The lamps are from Dunelm, we'll have a matching one each and then I just have my little candle on, that one is the Champagne Toast Candle from... I think it was Bath and Body Works, but I'm not 100% sure. Then we'll have the two dogs' beds. Um, so we have Luna's bed here with the little pink teddy and then Henry's bed. We create them at bedtime and honestly, they absolutely love their little beds. So yeah, this is what you see. And then on Sean's side of the bed, he's got the same lamp as me, a matching candle. Um, and then he just has his stuff in there. I want to get some prints on the wall here and a telly on the wall here. So there's still quite a bit to do with this room, but this is what it looks like as is this is a barn sliding door i don't know why i keep calling it a barn door because it's not really a barn door but this is the sliding door that we knocked through the wall to make it the walk and wardrobe well sean and his dad did this is what it looks like and you just slide it and then this my friends is the walk and wardrobe so we have a little mirror on here which is just from B&M. It's the perfect size and because this wall was built we weren't sure how strong it is so we couldn't get a really big one. But it's canny, we can see what full outfits in it. And then this is my side of the wardrobe. I have a little hair tub here. I have my shoes and then my shirt and everyday tops. And then I just use the top for storage and sh then I have my jump bars, cardigans, knitwear and then in here I just have my trousers. And then I have some pyjamas, which that's a messy drawer. And then this is my bag drawer, which again, it's a mess. And then in there, I have my knickers and socks drawer, my knicker drawer, my bra drawer. And I can't remember what's in here. I don't know what I stored in here. Oh yeah, jeans and stuff like that. And then I just have a hair drawer and a bits and pieces drawer. And then I have some shelving. But yeah, this is what this room looks like. This is my coat, night dress and stuff like that. Then on the windowsill, we just have this little cute... It's like a little photo album on a stand. But yeah, it's got that little cute photo of me and Sean. My little candle from Primark. Just this little black globe, which was in Sean's room. And then this cute little photo box. And this is Sean's side of the wardrobe. So he's just got his after shaves, His Christmassy stuff, his coat, all his shirts and stuff. And then the three drawers that he has. And we do have a laundry basket bin in here as well. But moving out of here, then we have our ensuite, which is here. Now, it, the fan makes a really loud noise. I am going to get Sean to change it as soon as possible. Because that's the noise it makes. So we haven't made any changes in here. We do want to change the floor because I absolutely hate the floor. But for now, we haven't. This is what it looks like. I really like the style of the ensuite. We did put this little mirror up, but it isn't great. We need a bigger one, to be honest. But I've just got my cosmetics hanging up here. Then I just have Sean's little cosmetics. Look at the difference between mine and his. Then we have the mirror. And then, yeah, along here, we just have a little candle, reed diffuser, and room spray. Our toilet, our shower. Then we have them. Then we have our laundry basket, our bin, and yeah, so not much is changed yet either. But yeah, so this was an updated house tour. Like I said, there's still more we want to do. There's more prints I want to put up. There's little things on like a snagging list. I think me and Sean were thinking on doing like a snagging list video where we write down everything we want to do in the house and try and get as many as we can done. So if you'd like to see that, it'll be on the second channel. Um, but let me know if that's something you think you'd be interested in. I'm not sure if I showed you, but these are in the utility as well. Just little mirrors that are a bit meh. I'm not sure if I love them, but anyway they're there for now but this is an updated house to us so i thought i would just show you what we're up to and what um it's like at the moment and it'll probably be 
a good while before there's a completed house tour because the house is definitely not completed there's rooms that haven't even been started yet and there's still lots of renovation content to come but we're just having a little break from it at the minute but overall I'm so so happy with the way the house looks and how much it's progressed within the short time we've had it but yeah let us know what your favorite room is in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and if you would like to say any more please give this one a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you very shortly for another one bye